Oh yeah, they're all cuts. 260 piece all the way up there. So while Alex is finishing that off, I'm going in here. There's all the cuts for my pillars for here. So, the reason we need that is, is to get this off. This remaining render. So we can get the uh, starter kit fixed to the brickwork. And apart from that, it's um, about nine o'clock, Al. About nine. Five past nine, Sunday the 23rd. 3rd of, of April. So far so good, but it's not forecast very good. So we're back on a Sunday shift because we've got another job booked in for tomorrow. Like I say, we're half a day behind because of all the messing about we did yesterday. Still got a bit of messing about to do, but um, hence the um, that. What we're going to do is we're just going to use our little hop ups and get the last two courses of this on from outside. So we're not trestling outside. And that's our window, those two bricks. Got a 600 window, so that's block on block up to there. Ties in every course, ties across there every course, and then that's the rest of the window there. Lintel to go across, and that's it then. Jason can sort out what, what, where he wants the wall plate after that. We're just getting everything, everything to lintel height. So I've got um, my list of cuts. Just fell on the floor again. So I've got a load of off cuts there we can probably use as well. Here we are inside. I've just spent 10 minutes chasing the bond, working out the cuts. Uh, some of these cuts will be wrong because I've, I forgot about the window on the inside, but <clears throat> we'll come to that later. So here's our cut list. So I'm gonna be busy for the next half an hour. There's a, um, uh, I forgot. Anyway, while I'm sorting that out, while I'm doing the cuts, Alex has finished this side off. It's just a matter of plonking one more block on top of there. You know, we need to put the profile up, I don't think. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, that's it. Still got a lot to do. Um, oh, yeah, they're all cuts. 260 piece all the way up there. And, oh, yeah. There's no need for the commons on the inside, so it's just going to be back to normal with the course and course. A 75 mil course, so that means we've got to put a 75 mil split all the way around, which is a 1065 mil split. So Alex is going to finish that mix off, then he's going to get on with this side, and I'm going to get all the cuts done, and then we can crack on then. So um, catch you in a bit. Right, all the cuts are done, all the mess is made. Hopefully that's it now. Alex has got all these starters up. So we're all set. So this is course number, is that course number eight or nine? Or nine, isn't it? Yeah. So that's that's our top course, which is lintel height. So Alex is just gonna get those last few in and then we can put lintel on from the inside. We're not gonna bother with trestles, we're just using hop ups for the, course, for the sake of one course. So while Alex is finishing that off, I'm going in here. There's only cuts for the pillars for here and we're all loaded out mostly ready to go starters are in blah 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 bonds all set out cuts are done and yeah we're ready to go I keep forget I keep mean to say something then I forget oh yeah when Alex is done there he's gonna drop on this set this section here but yeah that's what we're up to I'm just gonna get all the damp course down Get some insulation cut uh, opened up ready four sheets per pack and um, get cracked on so plan is to get this finished today we'll see how we get on but we decided we're not, you can see that there's no point putting trestles in here we went back home for the trestles but hopefully we'll manage without them we can reach to eight from from the floor so yeah i'm going to put you up somewhere so you can get a bit of time lapse going 
because I didn't, I didn't film much this morning with all the cutting and the dust. So I'll catch you in a bit.
Yeah, 25 to 7 on Sunday, the 23rd of April. Is it St. George's Day today? Anyway, all done. Fiddly ass pillar done with all, all cuts, and that is tie wire to death. It's got the uh, starter tyres in every course, it's got two tie wires in every course, as has this pillar. It's got the starters in every course, it's got the tie two tie wires in every course, so those two are solid. That's, in, that's, the, that's the window that was added on extra. So you can see what we've done today on the outside, and we've, we've managed to do it without trestles, we've just done it off hop ups. And then lads have been digging that out today and getting that prepped for the floor because the floor is going to carry on through. And there you have it. One plant room, boiler room, utility room. So there's the lintel not been bedded on yet and there's, that lintel's got to be collected yet. So yeah, the whole internal's been done today, everything. And a lot of cuts, a lot of cuts. As you can see, all cuts, loads of cuts, loads of cuts. That's a bit, bit unfortunate, that, but it's still, still got a bond on it. These cuts were done before we set the window out, so that, that cut should have been thinner. And that cut should have been bigger and on the end, so it should have been about there, really. But it's still got a good bond on it. And we've covered the cavity up. And there's the, the monster cavity. The 150 cavity. Which we'll all be doing soon. And there's the, all the extra work we had to put in to plank it out to give us some steady solid to work on. That's it's great that. So there you go. We've got a few other jobs to do now. We're knocking the porch down, rebuilding that, which is just single skin. We've got a door to knock out and a door to brick up. So all the usual stuff for me and Alex. And there you go. A bit of leftover insulation. So So, all in a good day's work. You can see the done the beam filling, got that done on this side. I'll hand you over to Alex in the van and he will do us a, an outro. Alright, and that is the end of the video. But we got it done in the end. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel or you want to see more, be sure to hit subscribe because that's always a massive help for the channel and we greatly appreciate all the support. We are going to try and reach 50,000 at the end of this year, so we're uh, be sure to hit subscribe. This has been Brickling with Steve and Alex, and we'll see you in the next video.